17 minutes after 9 on your Tuesday morning. What a nice day today. Mm -hmm. Go out and enjoy it because we got some big changes headed our way toward the end of the week. Ella Dorsey is here uh, tracking your forecast. I guess those changes begin tomorrow. Yeah, they do. A lot cooler tomorrow, but it's beautiful outside right now. Live look over to City Skyline. The trees, oh my gosh, the color yellows and oranges and reds mixed in. We are at our peak leaf color, which usually, guys, lasts at least two or three weeks. That's not going to be the case this fall because it's been so dry. A week from today, most of those leaves will be off the trees, so you got to get outside on days like today that are gorgeous and this upcoming weekend and take pictures of the fall color. Take advantage of it. Today's going to be a day where you want to spend some time outside. The kids are going to want to go to the playground after school. It's going to be a short sleeves kind of afternoon. 70 and sunny when you eat lunch, 75 degrees when the kids get out of school. Still sitting in the upper 60s at 6 p.m. tonight. Our high temperatures very similar to yesterday between 72 and 77 degrees. That's 10 degrees above average for this time of year. This will be by far the warmest day through the end of the week. And you can see our highs dip into the 60s. And on Thursday, we don't make it out of the 50s. So tomorrow will feel a lot different than today. We'll begin the day tomorrow in the 40s. Lots of sunshine. It will be a chilly morning. Clouds increase through the afternoon. And look at this at 3 p.m. tomorrow, instead of sitting at 75 degrees, we will struggle to climb into the low 60s. It will be breezy and significantly cooler. You will need a long sleeves and a jacket through the afternoon. Can rule out a very light shower before midnight on uh, Wednesday, but most of the rain arrives after the time you head to bed. Thursday morning will be very rainy. No severe weather. We're not going to see a complete washout, but that rain will be widespread for your morning commute. That rain will continue through the early afternoon. Noon, it's still raining. Look at these temperatures. Still hovering in the upper 40s to low 50s. So even after that rain moves out and you get home from work on Thursday, we're struggling to reach 50 degrees. So it will be a very chilly day on Thursday, but we really need this rain, guys. Last time we saw more than a tenth of an inch of rain was Hurricane Helene in September. So this is very beneficial, much needed. We're looking at widespread totals between a half of an inch and an inch. The mountains of North Georgia, which are the driest and under a low level drought, could get over an inch of rain. So we will take it. Quick check of the tropics. Can you believe this? Same area that Raphael formed in the Caribbean about a week ago. Now an 80% chance we see another tropical depression or a tropical storm. And I can tell you our long range models are hinting at something big headed towards Florida towards the end of next week. I went back and checked. We're not at, quite at the end of hurricane season yet. We're in the last few weeks. In the 170 years that we've kept records, we've only had four landfalling hurricanes in the United States in the month of November. So it would be very rare, but it's not unheard of, and it's something we'll be watching next week. 76 degrees today, quite a bit cooler and breezy tomorrow. That rain moves through on Thursday, then we dry out beautiful for this upcoming weekend. 60s and low 70s, but it will be chilly, so factor in some chilly mornings into your weekend plans. Of course